Okay, so here we have uh, yet another new GHD model. It is uh, based on the 4.2 or the slightly newer versions of the 4.2 with this little finger uh, ridge here. And uh, other than that, I believe it's probably got, well, I think it's probably got the same internals as the new GHD Gold. So obviously the main difference you'll see is the fact that there's no switch there. It's just a soft touch electronic control switch rather than the old slider switch. Uh, the colour of these plates is slightly different to me. It looks like a uh, slightly lighter colour. Um, it's a glitter uh, finish, very fine metallic uh, flakes in there. You probably won't be able to see that, I don't know. Actually maybe you can, it's hard to see on the camcorder screen. Um, you'll notice there are no screws here holding it together so how these come apart I've absolutely no idea at the moment the hinge caps are again a different uh, colour that colour I think matches the ceramic plate colour we have the newer GHD gold uh, cable at least I think that's what it is so we're going to have to take these apart I really hope they haven't changed all of these parts um, because this is going to be a problem I was hoping some of the GHD gold parts might be fitted inside this like the elements and things like that but uh, look, we're going to have to see uh, again they've gone for the usual moulded plug uh, in this case a 5 amp fuse and the same as usual uh, label with barcode and uh, yeah so we're going to just try, I've just had these on for the previous video that was just a quickie for normal customers but uh, let's uh, see what we can do with these. So we're going to get these hinge caps off first. Can't even, see this, can't even get into there. Oh wow, that, is that a really thick hinge cap? And that's not good is it? Because that's not going to... Oh this, they, so okay. So they've, They've decided to change the size and design of these caps. I don't know whether this is going to focus. You see that? So that is a special cap. That is annoying. Oh dear. It's certainly a lot thicker. And unfortunately they have gone, well not unfortunately, I suppose breaking plastic pivot hinge uh, points is uh, quite useful from a repair point of view. Um, so let's do this step by step. Let's see if any of the other hinge caps fit. And the answer is no. Uh, let's give you a closer look of that. So you can see there's a, ray, a couple of raised points there. And that seems to stop the uh, the caps fitting. No, so that is not going to work. Let's just try the older 4.2 because that had longer caps and that's not going to go on either. No. So, first of all, we've got a hinge cap problem. They are custom and uh, made of ABS. And that's the first issue. Okay, so we're now on to a weak point of the gold, the maxis, and uh, this newer model, and that is this plastic pivot pin. Now, we are just going to compare that to the GHD Golds because I suspect that may well be the same. So I'm just going to grab a gold one and uh, we just have a little compare. Is it slightly shorter? I think it is. Just have a quick look at that. No, actually I think it's the same. I'm just going to try it. We're going to pop it back in. Just reassemble these. No, it seems fine. So that is good. GHD Gold pivot pin is, I suspect, exactly the same. Yeah, it is. So that's a good sign. That's something that we can 
interchange. Now, again, we have the pivot spring. That's interesting. How does that come out? How the hell does that come out of there? Now normally you can push out the center nylon piece but it's not looking like that's how this is done. So I'm just going to see if that pulls out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what they've gone for here is a much shorter piece and instead of pushing through, it actually just slides in. That's an interesting uh, design because that's probably, there's the original size. It's uh, quite a lot shorter. So again, these are not, well, I suppose you could cut one down. Let me just grab one in on a second. Diameter is the same. Yeah, so if one of these was lost, you could probably shave down one of the original 4.2s to fit. Uh, and notice little beveled edges, very slightly beveled. Uh, it probably just helps to locate them. Yeah, it's a little bit fiddly to, uh, to put together. Right, so but that uh, spring looks the same as the gold, so uh, no problem there. I'm just going to grab one to double check and just see if it's the same. It would not make sense that they redesign this totally. No, and the spring is the same, so that's good. Now we've got these standard screws on the outside, like the original 4.2s and 5s and all the other old ones. So that will just pop off, hopefully. Now, uh, yeah, that is... Let me get rid of that cable, because that's a brand new cable. And let's just compare that. Good news on the cable front, that is exactly the same as the gold cable. So if we just have a little look in here, we've got quite big chunky screws and very basic uh, moulding here. Hopefully you can see that. Now, how to get these apart? Well, that's a good question because there is just a single screw in there. Hopefully you can see that. So we're going to undo that screw and maybe this cover just lifts up and out. It does, wow. Okay. So, screw in there, as you can see, and on this end, you've got that plastic piece holding these in. And now this is a different board. Oh God, so GHD Gold is not gonna work in these. The circuit board is totally different. So they have completely on us there. Okay, so I'm just going to reassemble. What the hell is stopping that coming out? Oh, okay, so just in here there's a piece that's part of the arm that is uh, holding all of the wires, etc., in place. <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do is well, I'll just show you the circuit board first of all. As you can see, that is totally different to the new 
gold and uh, this looks like the wires are soldered in place rather than those horrible push fit terminals so this is not looking good that piece of silicon again custom design that is uh, totally different to every other GHD the board itself looks like it will just have these on so they're cooling down a little bit oh so that's just so they're not clipped in place they just go over on the GHD gold they were clipped you have to bend those little plastic clips out of the way but in this case they just lift that straight out and now we've just got to get these wires out and the socket wires need to come out there as well and we are free so Is made of PBT. I'm going to have to look that up. That's interesting to know exactly what this uh, heat proof plastic is. And uh, so we're just going to go from one end there. Let's bring this camera out into the light a bit more. No way that looks so dark. So unfortunately for us there are going to be, I suspect, no, zero parts or only a couple that are going to be interchangeable. We know we can change the cable on these, so that is something. Now the arms are totally different, the silicon's different, the hinge pins are the same. Again, that is useful. Um, we'll have a look at the element in a minute, but as you can see, that is... Again, it looks like the GHD Gold, but it's different. And we'll have a look again in a moment. That piece there is interesting. Why? Ah, look. You see this piece here? That, for whatever reason, lines up with the little uh, mark in there. I don't know whether you can see Yes, you can see it. That piece there, that raised piece, that slots into there. Now, why do they believe that's required? Yeah, interesting. So, yeah, totally unique arms, but they look like the full pop tiers from the outside for the customer's benefit. Let's put that to one side. Now, Alexa, meters on soldered terminals. Uh, just trying to take see what uh, processor so this is in the back. Can't quite get the light right on this. Let me turn it around a bit. It's weird to see soldered terminals. So it's an ST chip and I can't you see what it is. I'm going to have to get the microscope out and uh, do some research on that one but we will add that to the description so again another single screw on this side and then lift as there we are it comes out pretty much the same as the other one with this new piece of plastic here holding it in place PBT written on these, the heat proof. I'll again look that up. So we have a completely different. Oh, look, there's a new tiny little spacer there. As you can see, that goes into a particular piece of molding just inside there. It's a bit fiddly. But yeah, it sits in there like so. Let me take that out. Then we've got another piece of silicon rubber. Is that exactly the same as the other side? Yes. And then again, does this lift out? No. See, this time it is being held in by the little clips. You just have to bend them 
slightly one way or the other and that will lift out and then the other arm so very disappointing Okay, that piece goes into a little bit of moulding, I don't know whether you can see it or not, just there, whoops, just here, that slots in, a bit fiddly, you've got to get it just right, it's more than a bit bloody fiddly actually, I'm not impressed with that at all. Oh, and then there's a couple of pieces here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit there and one on the other side. And they've got to go. So it's literally got to go just right. Otherwise, it's not going to go in. Wow. I really don't like that at all. There we go. Now it seems to me that that is going to be a weak point when these are banged down because the uh, ceramic plates still pull up on this and if they've messed this design up we are going to be seeing plastic uh, broken here I mean it's quite a chunky piece of plastic as you can see there I'm going to really hope that that is not going to break or this piece here isn't going to break. Only time will tell. I mean, the piece it is quite thin. I don't know whether you can see it, but it is quite thin. The top piece. If that's going to be a weak point, if that breaks, then this uh, we could find the uh, plates coming loose and this whole end flapping around. Bugger to get back in there. There we go. Yeah, hmm, not sure about that. I think it would have been uh, better to have them screwed in place, but time will tell. Again, because of the moulding, they saved the cost of a screw. So, uh, yeah. Okay, not much to say about that really. Exactly the same arrangement on the switch side. I don't think anything is going to be interchangeable. Yeah, no. They've sneakily designed these elements to be wider than the 4.2s. The circuit board will go in there anyway. Totally different. So there's absolutely no chance of uh, swapping anything around. The socket is the same as the GHD Gold. Now, I think we need to have a look. You now, these are brand new and that bloody plate's marked. Uh, must have been a bit of dirt from the factory that scraped off. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to take these clips off. We'll, actually, no, but let's see if we can get some measurements off of these first of all. Let's have a look. So we've got a 42 ohm reading there and a 529. I'm reading there. So it could be that we're in luck here and these are the same elements as the GHD Gold uses. That would be helpful. Let's just have a look on this other side. Yeah, that definitely is the control chip there. We'll have to uh, look that up in a minute. So, silicon, yeah, that's the same. Mount is definitely not the same. Clips are there. Same as the Golds. 
now have they changed the thermal fuse arrangement or are we in luck up there let's just slide this apart oh that doesn't want to move now the golds it was very much easier to oh, slide these around but that does not want to move god they're sneaky suds aren't they wow Glasses off for a closer look. Looks like it's clamped in place in a couple of places. A bit at the end here is kind of almost loose. So I'm just going to pop in the little spudger and just see what's holding that. Yeah. Couple of places that's clipped in. Now, question is, is that element clipped in with anything metallic inside, and why won't that slide off? I was not expecting this to be an issue, but that will not budge. Whew. Yeah, that does not want to budge. I think that element probably is not the same either. Why won't that come out? I think what we'll do is we'll just unsolder this. That might be the easiest way to go. on the camera it's tricky enough to do anyway okay so I've just unsoldered that one let's just get that out of the way now they look very much like the wires and the external wires and the blue inner insulation looks very much like the original uh, the gold ones but that plate is just not budging uh, what are we going to do here? Wow. That is just not shifting at all. in place I think in the middle there like the gold but uh, I don't understand why that is not moving I certainly don't want to break anything sacrifice this so yeah it's definitely clipped in in the middle pull it out by popping a blade in it's going to be pretty fragile but I just wanted to slide it apart but it will not budge damn oh dear now if we can't even get this apart without starting to break things this is going to be into the non repairable category and that would be a great shame um, So I've managed to prise that off. Oh, now it's all free. <laughs> okay, so that is the mount. You can see the two clips, one here and one here, that were holding that in place. Again, it's very fragile. You can prise the mount off of the GHD Gold, but on that one it's so much easier just to slide it. Now, why this wouldn't move? I Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> you know that why that wouldn't slide because the sneaky sods have designed in a little tag of plastic there hopefully that's 
focused and in the plate they've cut a little slot out so that cannot be slid off how sneaky is that it's like they've got somebody working specifically to mess with their engineers who repair these and that's a sneaky move that one so uh, yeah I mean easily remedied you could just simply cut that off but uh, now the next clue is or the next important thing is what thermal fuse have they put in here that's the arrangement again this is a unique molded silicon piece different to the gold now let me just pull that off oh wow now this time I think they must have realized that those peppy h1 <laughs> fuses uh, were not um, up to a hell of a lot so they have gone with a I don't recognize the symbol on there but that is a 228 degree fuse with massive crimps and then it is uh, soldered on to the element um, that is a chunky old crimp isn't it if you look at it totally over the top you would think uh, for the current that, that is uh, going to be handling but uh, hey that's what they've decided to do now is that spot welded or is it uh, I mean is it um, you know brazed on there or uh, what I suppose we should try and uh, take that off now let's just have a little look here actually at the other elements from the gold let's just see if these are same size oh god I don't think they are are they actually let's just chuck one in there there they are okay that's interesting so they are very similar the new plates have got these slightly rounded off corners well they're not rounded off they've just cut off and angled the corners uh, but as far as uh, as far as the uh, resistances go I think they're very much the same that's 40 ohms we're not going to get anything off of that one because there's no thermal fuse and the thermistor is 547 so I th suspect we can replace the elements with the ones from the gold uh, the wires are the same length they just literally have cut off the corners the thickness is exactly the same so that is interesting now again you could query whether they've really put enough thermal paste on here or not I think at this stage we're going to need to see if we can unsolder that 228 degree uh, thermal fuse so I am just going to fire up the iron to 450 and we'll just use the lower actually no I'm going to use the high melting point uh, solder and we'll just see if this is actually a high melting point solder or whether they have brazed this on Braised on. Must be a special process in the factory that is not coming off of there. But 
but again with uh, high temperature solder you would be able to braze in a sorry solder in a new thermal fuse as I say these are 228 the goal to be using 240s so uh, I do not recognize that particular uh, thermal fuse it doesn't look like it is um, glued in any way to the element it's just in very good close you know f contact or focus oh come on yeah so uh, I suppose in theory you could open up those crimps although they are extremely well crimped and uh, you have fit a replacement so that's interesting we uh, you may be able to get a replacement thermal fuse in there at 228 now that is so sneaky <laughs> it really is let's put something in there that stops that sliding apart has it been put in there for any practical reason for them to stop these sliding apart no, I don't think so the uh, these never really slid around, the plates didn't go one way and the plastic mount the other way so that's, I really think that is a, a sneaky move now that is the uh, 240 fuse and you could probably, oh, well, actually, I wonder if you can solder directly to these crimps let's just have a little look, see what they're made of I suspect not Oh, and I'd be wrong actually, you can. So you can, so there's a number of choices here. You can cut the thermal fuse out. You can use high temperature solder on the pads. Uh, you could high temperature solder the crimps. Uh, you could try and cut these off. Uh, sorry, uh, undo the crimp. Um, I think that would be hard to do. Yeah, without, oh, yeah, I suppose you could cut the cut the thermal fuse out, bend the crimp and the wire up because it's on a curve so uh, and then try and undo that and then you could crimp in a new thermal fuse and just bend that to, uh, to shape so there's a few options there obviously that is similar size they've just gone for that flat body which may be available and may be able to get a flat body that is just so that any overheating it can be transferred more easily into the thermal fuse. A round cylinder shape is not going to be a good heat transfer device compared to a flat one. Uh, but it all fits. You know, you can replace that. So yeah, interesting. I am quite tempted to snick that bit of plastic out there so it can't look in place. Hmm, interesting. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll just see what that does. Which is not as easy as you might think to cut that out. Might need a drill on that. taking enough it will move now but uh, I haven't quite taken enough off so yeah if you get a pair of these in then you can just lever gently both sides uh, and lift this away and uh, then probably a Dremel to remove that piece I mean this is so tight it's really not going anywhere and once you had the clips on there it's definitely not going anywhere so I can only imagine that they have done that just to stop us getting in there easily uh, and then risking breaking the mount. I 
can't see any other reason for that. Interesting. Okay, so that's that. Uh, same the other side, obviously. Actually, I'm not going to take that off because the uh, resistances are all programmed in software wise. Um, yeah, standard buzzer, LEDs for the lighting. Not seeing anything particularly to shout about other than soldered wires which is obviously a, the cheapest option I should imagine for them and uh, yeah that's about it as I say not really much in the way of repairability hopefully the elements we can change um, I have to get the microscope out and look at that chip, see what it is. I just can't read it. I can see it's an ST chip of some description. I'll have to look that up. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm fairly disappointed. I think we're going to be able to change the elements when they crack, or which is a common problem. Don't expect these thermal fuses to fail uh, as they do with the golds, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, have to try some fault modes just by disconnecting a uh, wire or two. See what the error codes, uh, sorry, the error bleeps and flashing is like. I'll probably do that on a separate video and report back. Um, so yeah. Okay. Well, sadly, I am quite disappointed by that. And uh, if these sell in large numbers, we are going to have problems sourcing spares. Uh, so I've got uh, you know one arm, one PCB, uh, one arm of each side rather, and uh, elements to sell hinge caps special hinge pin not so uh, I don't know whether the oh the ceramic plates must be the same must not they or maybe not let's have a look the size could be different couldn't it just the length uh, length looks the same width I think is the same so yes it looks like then in that case we could swap these around if somebody scratches something yeah they definitely go in there look so uh, that's some good news I think the main thing is the elements if they do suffer from any element cracking will we uh, will be in business hopefully so time will tell on that one um, so yeah Model number it was C4, sorry, S4C242. Uh, so these are selling for 119. So yeah, I hope that was of uh, some interest.